Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This video is the part of uh, the inventory management or stock management playlist. And today I'm going to discuss about the picking goods in production process. I would highly recommend to check out the pick and pack in the sales process for having the good knowledge and the understanding of all the pick, pick and uh, production and I divided the pick and production manager into the three videos. The first one is the sales process, then the production process and the third one would be for the inventory transfer and uh, today we're going to discuss um, the pick and pack for picking goods in the production process and also I will, I will explain a bit about the production in the brief introduction and we will see everything right after this. So let's assume that your company is producing some kind of goods and that goods is basically produced from your production and all the raw material that is used so for that item so for example if your company is producing a final good with this one this item then and for to create this item you need all these item in these quantity uh, to generate as a final good for this item then you will see here that uh, when when you create the production order for this one so for example i'm going to duplicate this one and i, I want to produce one quantity of this uh, this item and for call for producing this one quantity we need all these base quantity from the uh, from our um, from our warehouse that we have to pick and send it to the production so that they can be, begin the production for this particular item in the production uh, stage right so i'm gonna add this production order but before adding that there is one more important thing is the issue method and there is two kind of issue method that is uh, that worked in the sap business one one is the back flush and second one is the manual so when the black flush happen then once you release the batch uh, then you do not need to issue these raw material uh, by yourself manually and the all the all the material gonna be issued by themselves uh, once you once you generate once you release that um, item from the warehouse right so i'm gonna first first we'll see for the black flush and then we'll see the manual so for example i, I need this item so i created this production and i changed the status for this production order to release but if you want to issue this one item then you cannot see this because there is no because the because uh, the status of the each item is the back flush for the issue method right so now you're gonna go into the inventory sorry ah. you're gonna go to the inventory go to the pick and pack production select the warehouse select the production order right and this document for the production you will see here now once you created the production you will see we are creating one order and the quantity is just increased by one so that's what we are expecting from our production order and now i'm gonna select all the raw material and just release this pick list and i'm gonna release this pick list to generate uh, the pick list and you will go into the release mode then you will see all the uh, pick list is already uh, the pick list is already created but you only have to pick this item you do not have to issue that item from the production because they are back flush so once you gonna go here and select all the item and you're gonna okay you're gonna do the receipt from the production then because if you're gonna try to create the issue for production then you're not gonna see it so if you wanna go try and create for the receipt from the production then you will see like for example i'm gonna show one of the quantity that we're gonna need so um uh, we can see the committed quantity for this production item is for for this particular item right and once i'm gonna release this for only one quantity because that's what we are expecting in our production order then you will see that once the pick list is added then it's already picked and 
the item is already issued from from the warehouse and it will uh, and the final product is from the ordered it will reduce by one and it will be added into the stock because the whole process was the back flush so we do not need in our pick and pack to issue that item right so now let's gonna we're gonna see the another scenario where we have to use the menu instead of instead of back flush so for example i'm gonna use the manual for all the items in our uh, in our row and document row and i'm gonna add this production for the same one quantity and we will see that we have to release this batch uh, to the production for to start the process and again you will see this item quantity is right now the form which is committed and this item uh, item in the item master data is one that you are expecting from the order right so uh, you gonna go to the pick and pack uh, pick and pack production you're gonna open that and you will see the document now this time all the all the process is manual so you have to release the batch first right once you release it then you're gonna see in the document that before you cannot directly uh, receive uh, the production you have to issue the document for the production because it was manual and that's why you have to add the issue for the production and when you create the issue for production then basically one of the guy gonna go there using that pick list uh, using this pick list document and it's gonna uh, it's gonna pick all these items with this quantity that you just issued for the production and once once they they uh, pass that uh, quantities or well, once they pass those items from the production to uh, to the production line then you're gonna simply go to the production and receive that uh, receive that order based on the production order and your production order was nine so you simply enter here or you can also open here and you will see that the production line is already uh, prepared and the transaction type is complete and you're expecting one quantity once you add this one then you're gonna see that the lines gonna be uh, disabled and you will see that the quantity will be increased by one in the in this talk so that's how you can handle the pick and pack in the production process for uh, especially for the back flush and manual both category now there is another scenario to handle the resource kind of uh, the resource kind of the items as well into the into the pick and pack and it's basically uh, can be copied along with the item rules to the production document from the pick and pack to production ma manager create button and this enable copying the entire production order to the destination document and this the whole process procedure is very similar to the non-inventory of the item we are item procedure and that we already saw in the pick and pack for the sales process of uh, course for the for the previous video and that's all there is another another thing is for pick picking goods in the production process with the routing scenario and in the routing the production process in order to divide by the stage called the root sequence and those root sequence are organized in the certain order where each one has its own start and end date and then pick and pack production manager display the routine related field in order to provide all the information needed for creating the production right for the document like the pick list issue for production and uh, receipt for the production so uh, that's how this uh, thing work and uh, but uh, but don't worry about uh, for the uh, for the production module because I'm gonna cover all the production related videos into the separate playlist dedicated for the production and we will discuss everything in detail on that one. This video was only dedicated for the pick and pack and I showed you how you can handle the pick pack and production manager into for the both back flush and manual issue method and if you have any question please feel free uh, to comment down in the section and uh, i will i will uh, happy to help you and solve your questions but for uh, for meanwhile take care bye